Chica Chef and welcome to my kitchen. Today in the episode we are making fermented salsa, probiotic goodness. My husband's and my favorite, one of the favorite ferments. If you watch my videos regularly, not while ago, I show how to make my favorite summer ferments, pickles and tomatoes. It's a staple in my kitchen. But another favorite in the summer I like, and actually will stay, any ferments will stay in your fridge up to nine months. And I'm not joking, will stay nine months and will not change flavor. Maybe it will get a little bit more acid than acidic than was originally made, but not much. Flavor will stay the same. And it's easy, simple, and delicious addition to boost your probiotic intake, daily intake. It's basically, basically pica gadao, regular, what your staple likes to eat in Mexican restaurant, and just left to ferment for, uh, in a jar in room temperature. What, what it does, allow good bacteria, goes through salsa and um, lactoacid bacteria develop flavor, and also um, wild yeast, and it's fer ferment preserve vegetables. How in old days people did without any special equipment, and I will show you today how to do without special jar, lid, special starter, or sometimes people use whey if you have, if you make cheese sometimes. You don't need any, anything. All you need vegetables, salt, herbs like cilantro, and that's about it. Yesterday we went to the local farm and look how beautiful tomatoes we got. So many. My boys, first they didn't want to pick tomatoes, especially Thomas, and then he was hooked. He like, Mom, we need to get more, we need to get more. <laughs> and we brought a bunch of tomatoes. And I like to turn them to the salsa because that's what everyone eats in my family. Even my picky husband, he loves salsa. It has little fizzy, fuzzy <laughs> flavor and it's very refreshing. It's beautiful on every Mexican meal you serve. And during school year, Mexican, at least once a week I serve. Um, somehow, some, some way, <laughs> we do. So this tomatoes, I have to mention every kind, every kind you have. I have cherry tomatoes, I have steak tomatoes, I have, um, I don't know what kind, what name for this one? Uh, regular tomato, I guess. <laughs> Heirloom tomatoes, I have. Uh, whichever you prefer, whatever you have, we need two pounds. And for the ingredients, we need tomato, like I mentioned, any kind you like. Bell pepper, green, red, <laughs> orange, whatever. One onion, any onion. White would be ideal, the one is Mexican using, but I have regular onion, will work just fine. Garlic, jalapeno, I'm using only one because my family is not on spicy food. I love spicy food, but boys are not. So I'm using without seeds, only one jalapeno. We need lime juice. I have lemon in my fridge, it will work. I promise, <laughs> it will work. If you have lime, that will better. And of course, cilantro, we're going to use with the stem. And I have to say, the salt, the main components. Salt is so important. And I cannot stress enough, use good quality salt every day, and especially when you ferment your vegetables, is Celtic salt. Himalayan pink salt is another good option. Uh, whichever you prefer, I prefer Celtic salt. It has more um, uh, minerals, especially iodine. And ripe tomato is ideally. Make sure you wash. So now simply cut in a chunk. So many people afraid to make fermented food, afraid of bad bacteria, but I would say if pickling would be more dangerous because of botulism, fermented food People are afraid it can go bad. If it will go bad, you will not be able to eat. I promise you, it will smell so bad, you won't be able to eat. But if it's fermented properly, and will be, if it's done right, and 
if all it, your equipment clean and vegetable clean and it's fresh, you have plenty, big amount of salt. <laughs> People who are afraid to eat salt, they usually don't like to make fermented food because it never turned out right. You need to add plenty of salt. And doing bench, benches, that's how I like to do, and you don't need to do anything by hand, just basically dump all together and process. of the year and they smell so good sometimes i like just to have tomato sandwich that's it or caprice salad now we're doing the same procedure with the rest of the vegetables it's bell pepper Looks like it's exactly where we want. We don't want any fine and no, it's fine. When you chop jalapeno, try to not touch this part where the seeds and juice. mention onion I like to puree almost to the paste very fine I don't like to waste any food and I think stem. Look, now they are totally... And cilantro leaves, I just like to chop it up and add as well. And the last is lemon or lime. <laughs> If you're using limes, use two. If you're using lemon, <laughs> use one. To add two tablespoons salt and mix. And the last most difficult part is waiting two or three days. And what I like to do. Once in a while, since we're not going to have any press, any weight, I don't have any special equipment except a tight lid, just to release gas. Once in a while, you open and mix up everything. Kind of try to shake and make sure everything is covered in juice. It has plenty of juice. You don't need to add any water or any special liquid. And after two, three days, Depends on temperature of your kitchen, taste, and store in a refrigerator for up to nine months and enjoy with every Mexican meal. I like to serve with some blue chips, afternoon snack for my kids after school. They love it. That's it. Now we need to wait <laughs> and taste it. So basically enzymes work through 
and of a microorganism go through the salsa and uh, eat up all sugar from vegetables and leave you with good bacteria and the acid pH is drops during fermentation due, due to the lack of acid bacteria and will not allow to bad bacteria work. So the good bacteria is going to win and create delicious meal uh, condiments for your meal and keep your gut healthy. See you in two days. And I would like to mention, if you follow my channel, please support by going to Patreon. And um, if you like to leave me a donation or uh, anyhow, give me a like and subscribe. I would very much appreciate it. I love likes and share with your friends and family. In the past, I already posted a lot of fermentation, a lot of different recipes, cheese, um, sauerkraut, um, summer ferments, and many others. But uh, in the future, I will make more <laughs> on sauerkraut and more on kimchi, different varieties. It's so fun to explore different flavor and different ingredients. It's tasty and yummy. And in a few months, I will show you how uh, to make my mom's sauerkraut with uh, basic ingredients. Hello, everyone. Hey. Welcome back to my kitchen two days later. Seems like my salsa is ready. My kitchen is warm in summer, so in your kitchen, if it's not as hot, uh, may take a little bit longer. But taste, after two days, taste, if it suits your taste, if you like the flavor bottle, and then put it in separate jars. I like to um, divide in several jars, so every time when I need it, I just grab one jar from the fridge and ready to go to serve. So let's see, I can't wait to try. Oh yeah, look at this, all fuzziness and smells um, very aromatic, I would say. It's much better than cooked salsa. Never mind to say it's much better for you too. I hope you will watch my next video and find out how to make this tortilla. Like to support my channel. Bye, see you next time.